Right, welcome back to uh, this silly old sod here, trying to earn money on YouTube, making YouTube videos about, well, about something. Because, carry on watching this and you'll find out how well I do. Do I do good or do I do bad? Do I earn money or don't I earn money? Stay watching, because apparently most people switch off after 30 seconds. So you've still got 10 seconds to go. Don't switch off yet. Oh, otherwise you're going to miss the best bit, aren't you? Me, an idiot, making a fool of himself, trying to earn money on Utu. Right. That's got the first 30 seconds over with now, so only people left watching now are people who are interested. I hope. If not, go away. Anyway, after my first video, what happened? Well, I got lots of inquiries and comments. And the most silliest comment I had was John, and everybody, by the way, is called John, uh, is why have I got a bit of red tape on my glasses? Well, that's because I need glasses for the computer and glasses for walking. Right. And as all my glasses are exactly the same, it was very hard to figure out which ones were which. So I put a bit of red tape on it. Problem solved. Right, let's get back to YouTube. Now, if you're going to make a YouTube channel, right, uh, there's two types of channels, right? There's the channels that are done by the experts who spend hours and hours on their computers editing, editing, putting audio overdubs in, doing everything, and... Their life is more about making videos on a computer in an editing suite that costs an arm and a leg. Now, this idiot here, A, I've still got arms and legs, so that's not going to cost me anything, but this idiot here isn't very good on computers. No, not very good at all. At this age, plus 70, I don't give my exact age, mate, no more now. Plus 70, pensioner, yep, give me my, yep. Yeah. Anyway. I, I thought my way of doing it was let's have a hobby and let's just film the hobby and not spend hours making the video. And as, as, as people know, my first uh, YouTube channel, which is earning me money, uh, I'll get that in a minute, is, is all about whirly gigs. If you watch the first video, I won't go over it again, but I've started a hobby making whirly gigs. Somebody said make videos about it. I made videos about it. So I didn't set out to make YouTube videos. I set out to make whirly gigs, right? And I just filmed them, put them on YouTube and I earned money. Good. So, now here we are now. People have inquired, how do I do it? What do I do? Well, I like, when I make a YouTube video, I don't want to film little bits and little bits. I tend to do, like this video here, will be one take, warts and all, spots and all, errs and ahs and blank spots and bad words, wrong words. I just do it in one. Load it up onto the computer, send it to Mr. Utube, and as long as I haven't swore, said anything political, sexist, or I don't know, whatever, they've got some system there sorting out, they publish it for me. You watch it, and as long as enough people watch it, I get some money, which is absolutely brilliant, I think. Right, so that's the type of video I make, is videos about my hobby, which was Whirly Gigs, which I've stopped doing now, but I've got a new hobby. Where's more has taken over my life, actually? Yeah, at the silly old age of whatever I am at now, I decided to buy a boat, a sailing boat. Yes. Can this idiot swim? Can this idiot sail a boat? Does this idiot know anything about sailing, boating, sea? But it's a challenge, isn't it? That's what I like. A challenge at my age, yes. Yeah, so I bought a boat, yeah. I had it a year now, and I started from day one with a YouTube channel. And if you go on The Sailing Junkie, you'll be able to follow my journey on my YouTube channel about my journey about buying a boat. What to a boat? Quite interesting, quite hilarious, quite funny, and uh, yes. Had it a year now, great, isn't it? But anyway, so that's basically what I do. Now, let's get back to, can you earn money doing this? Making, making, yes you can, without a shadow of a doubt, if you're good, and you've got a niche market. So our original niche market on channel one was Whirly Gigs and a little bit of travel. And of course now, about how to make YouTubes, because I'm publishing all these on Mr. Whirly Gigs. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Whirly Gigs, that's me, Mr. Whirly Gig. yeah. With the orange hat, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so you've got to have a gimmick. Uh, you know, you've got to have a gimmick. So, uh, yeah, so, so so that's what we're doing, really. Uh, 
Now, what I'm hopefully going to cover in future videos on this, now that I've done a couple basic ones, is my process of making a YouTube video, how I go about it, what I do about it, and, and you realise it's the most unorganised. Just do it. Just do it. Put it up there. You know, if, uh, if people watch it, they watch it. If they don't, don't, don't. You, I'm not producing a film. I'm not producing David Attenborough or whatever, Stilberg. It's, it's not that. It's just me with a phone, with a microphone now. Look, cost me six ninety nine on Amazon. Hopefully you can hear me a bit better. Yeah, that's, that's all I've got. I use my old PC. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show it all to you later with free software, free everything. Because at my age, I can't afford to go out and buy 200, 300 pound microphones and cameras and computers I, whatever I've got I use if I haven't got it I don't use it and I just carry on but this is quite good this is quite easy best camera in the world's on a phone don't care what you say best camera best camera you can watch yourself making it as you're doing it ah another problem somebody come on is why why can you see you always get a reflection of the phone on your glasses yeah because obviously it's pointing star right now little trick if you do that you get rid of the reflection because of that. Uh, you look an idiot because you get. You know, oh, I don't know. Put it up. No, hang on. Oh, blow your head. You can do that, can't you? Just a little thing. I suppose you can get anti reflective lenses, can't you, on glasses? Yeah, yeah, most probably. Anyway, so, yeah, so that's no, another something to look at. Uh, now, what did somebody else ask me? Uh, how long do I take? Well, I just tend to make two or three minute slots, stick them up on the computer, stick them together, just take the um and the r ah out of the beginning and the um and the r ah out at the end, put them together and just let them run. If people enjoy it, they enjoy it. I'm not going to do all this quick editing, quick fast editing, over dubbing, over the. It, it is what you get is what you see because I think the most important thing to me was building whirly gigs. The YouTube channel was second, right? Most thing about the sailing channel is I'm learning to sail and I'm just videoing me having a great, great fun. Boat goes in the water again soon. Yes, it's on the hard. That's a nautical turn for being in the in the dry, oh, not in the water, on, on dry land. And I'm working on it at the moment, doing a few little jobs, keeping it going. Yeah. So if you want, as I say, want to watch that, it's it. It's all good fun. But this channel here now, which is going to be, uh, I haven't decided what to call it yet. Anybody got any ideas? Give me an idea. It's most probably Silly Old Sod on YouTube. Uh, YouTube by Silly Old Sod. Uh, I don't know. It'd be something like that. But uh, we'll just keep going, shall we? Anyway, I have to go. I've been told, because I watch YouTube channels, if I can go about eight to ten minutes is about the average length. So this is it. So we're about enough minutes. So, yeah, it's not bad, is it? <laughs> <gasps> oh yeah <laughs> if you're still with me it's always a good idea if you're going to watch any of my videos always have a cup of tea and a bicky always nice to have a bicky and a cup of tea there yeah to cover the boring bits in the middle of the video anyway thanks a lot for watching this is mr whirly gig on youtube showing you how to work on youtube so don't forget to look at my channel mr whirly gig and my channel, The Sailing Junkie. Be good. Be happy. Most of all, look after those lovely animals. And thank you for all those people who've subscribed and tipped the bell. You don't know how much it means to me. Bye.